All right, accidentally stopped the other video instead of pausing it, so obviously I have to start a new one. Um, so we're just gonna make up some cups and um, hopefully, you know, it'll go quick, hang it tight. All right, so I've got mango. One of them, I have a fork in it because I only have one fork left, right? Um, so I just put my, I kind of put my hand up there to try to keep stuff from spilling and try to hold the fork straight up as much as I can. And that didn't. So I got a little aggressive pushing down too hard, right? So then there's that. And just right on it. Which one it is. And then just make the decision. Where do I want to put this? Do I want to put this back in the freezer? Do I want to put it in the fridge? If I put it in the fridge, it thaws out slowly and I can probably kind of eat it whenever. If I put it back in the freezer, then obviously it's gonna be frozen when I take it out. Um, this particular one, I'm gonna actually just put, um, or I can leave it sitting out because it's already frozen and I know it's gonna kind of melt. So um, actually we'll leave this one sitting out since I got the fork in it. We'll leave that one sitting out for the day, right? Um, But it just makes uh, ready to go, ready to go stuff, right? Um, and then, like I said, it makes it very handy for um, mango, banana, strawberry blend. I could have swore I already. I already opened these. I know I did. I did. Okay. And I only got a little bit left in this one. I don't have to make a whole cup. That's all right. I don't really care about mixing mixing my stuff up. So. the mango to that. And then, uh, blueberry, strawberry, and mango. So, um, this is mango and banana because that's a little bit of banana was in was what went in there. Mango, strawberry, banana. And this is mango, blueberry, banana.
So, now they're all ready to go. If I'm going out on a hot day, you know, I'm going to pick the stuff up out of the freezer, right? trying to sorry guys I'll learn to get more organized with this stuff so you know just portioning putting some in the freezer um, I had a frozen blueberry a small one um, that I took out of the freezer, put in the fridge. Um, I'm actually going to take another blueberry out of the fridge and just set it on the counter. And then I've got this just mango that I'm setting on the counter because basically I'm just going to leave those to thaw out for the time being. And um, I'll probably use them, you know, later on when I come back. Um, I'll probably be outside doing stuff, and I'll just take them outside with me and let them sit out there with me. And then I'll just eat them as needed. Um, oh, that's my coffee. I actually use them as coffee cups, too. Um, there's my grapes, you know, um, that I was just showing you earlier. They need to go back in there. Um, grapes pretty much always just stay in the fridge, but just giving yourself choices of stuff to, to take, to take out, take with you and always have options. My, my goal and my plan is probably to buy like way more of this stuff, especially the blueberries. Um, which again, as you can see, I have, I have several cause I have them down in there. Um, and, and I had them in the bigger cups, but I was taking the bigger cups yesterday. I was riding around in the car. I um, had one frozen and I had one regular in the fridge and I just took them out with me, you know, depending on what I was doing and I took them with me and they actually worked out perfect. Um, they're very nice. They're portioned. Um, I could put that information in the app, the Libre app, you know, um, and it just kind of lets me know, especially if I want to test, right? So if I want to figure out how my body responds to just blueberries only, then I can just eat blueberries, right? And I put it in when I eat them, uh, the amount that I eat. And then you got to kind of wait and, and don't overindulge, right? You just got to eat a half a cup, let it go, see where it spikes and see how long it takes for it to spike and come down. And then, um, you know, you would eat blueberries again, try to try the same thing. And then you could do a full cup if you wanted to test that, you know, when it gives you the option to kind of test things out and that way, you know where you're at and you know what you should be doing. And then you can see, Hey, my sugar's starting to get low. I should probably grab some of this. Um, this helps me get it back up, but not too high, and it'll help keep me regulated. And I also know I probably need to eat them, you know, this often to keep myself regulated. So it's kind of helpful uh, in that way. So I'm sure I will expand on that um, eventually. You know, carrots. Um, you know, even you know, I like. Um, I prefer most of my vegetables actually raw. Um. I mean, you could do broccoli in a cup. You could do, you know, beans. You could do uh, certain certain kind of beans, like green beans maybe, or peas, or you know, uh, string beans, or stuff like that. Um, I don't know, maybe everything. But um, you know, eventually you kind of get to where you can kind of see what really works the best for you, and 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 how well it works, and uh, you know, it just works out. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of really do that for my mom. But anybody else that's diabetic, um, if it helps you, that'd be great. And um, I will put all this messy stuff back in the dishwasher. And um, I guess that's all I have for now. So two videos, obviously, the Libre, how it works, and then doing the, the, the fruit cups of stuff to take, take with you. Oh, yeah, you know, the small cups, not so much. Maybe I'll find some that are better. But the larger cups, they're paper, so they're not bad for the environment. 
which is great. And um, I guess that's it for now. So I hope everybody has a great day. If this was helpful, um, great. If not, then so be it. So after that, I guess we will see you.